Sorry about that. Um, oh. Yeah, do you hear that sound, guys? That's the thing I had to fix, so I can show you how I fixed it. So that Jenny and Tom know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> give me a second. Okay. Open up RetroArch here. Oh, we lost everything. We, didn't, we don't see anything. <laughs> I know. It'll pop up. Okay. DSP is digital sound processor, right? Yeah. Down here, the DSP plugin. Yeah. It says Wawa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> so I just changed it to chip tune enhanced. I don't know if that's the right one, but there that was the like, one that took it away. So is there no default? I don't know. That's what I had on last time, and it sounded great. So, all right. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why that is a default on here. Yeah, it's definitely. An, I've never had that issue. I never had that before. <laughs> Thank God I found that out. I look. I went in there and I was like, wait, that. That sounds like exactly what I'm hearing. So, anyway, hopefully, um, we, uh, will, um, be able to, yeah, it looks like I have to start over from the beginning. So, first things first. Now I know I don't have the rest of Griselda, so we'll just go right to the town, because I know there's a bunch of shit in the town. Alright, so, my goal here is I want to beat at least one or two dungeons before we finish. Well, we'll need a sword first. Yes, that is correct. So, let me go and down here. Go grab the coins that are in here so I can go buy bombs. Of course, it's all hearts. Okay. You're real positive about getting bombos. is that if I ever get magic, I can just use that to clear the screen. Yeah, that's a plus. Yeah. So that's my one offensive spell right now, because unfortunately you cannot hit anything with the shovel. Alright. So the invisibility cane... The cool thing about the uh, invisibility cane there um, is that I can get into Aghanim's castle now without needing the Master Sword. Because it allows you to walk right through the barrier that's usually outside there. Gotcha. Not that I would do that now, because those enemies hit for four hearts per hit in there. Yikes. So, yeah. Because you're supposed to have... Get like there we go. That should be enough. But yeah, the cool thing about about randomizers, I'm just saying, like they're starting to do it for other games. Super Metroid One seems pretty good. You know, I'm not a big Super Metroid guy, so you know, I wouldn't know the you know, oh. Oh, wow, we got this thing here? You know. Yeah. Well, be prepared. It's in that list, so it may come up from what, at one point. Yeah. yeah. I played a little bit of the game, but it, Metroid never grabbed me. Yeah, I mean, I never, I never knew about Metroid until I was, you know, already out of college, so... That's what, what happens, happens when, when you, you don't, don't play... play when, when you, you don't, don't have, have a Super, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, you really don't uh, don't get exposed to those kinds of games. Yeah, and some I mean, of them. Obviously, obviously, I know who Samus is, but I didn't know anything about Metroid. Yeah. Yeah, and and some of those games you get, you know, told that they're great, and then you go back and play them, and 
you know, it's like, oh, what was the hype? Yeah, I mean, the, that's the other problem is you don't really have a frame of reference at this point. It's like going back and watching a movie that people say is groundbreaking, but they've already taken all the tropes from that movie, and they're now commonplace, so it's kind of the same thing. I do need the boots. Yep, so there's the hammer, which is the other offensive weapon in the game. But you have to run into the cabinet yeah, order for it yeah, to drop. Yeah, I need to get the boots. Oh good, I got a bomb left. I can go get the... Zora's flippers will be much more useful than anything else right now. If I do this right, it should be 12 or 13 seconds. And normally when you're there, for those of people that haven't played through the original game, uh, before the, uh, that's a piece of heart that's there. And he goes, yeah, take this trash. <laughs> now, how did we know that that was going to be Zor Zora's Slippers again? Is it because it's the same it's randomizer? It's a seed, yeah. Yeah. You, the randomizer is they randomize the ROM. Okay. So, no, I can't go here yet. Yeah, it's one of those things where I should probably just save and quit. And started my house. So I can go down here, get the the moon pearl and the ah, and the flute. And do the trick. <laughs> yeah, if you have the mirror only on this version, if you have the mirror and you hit the mirror as you're pushing a block, the block disappears. A little speedrun strat? Yep. So you don't have to uh, go in here twice. Here, I'm gonna go check out the desert. Let's go left instead of right this time. Since I already know mostly what's to the right. Maybe I can get some magic or something over here. Oh, well, that was a waste of time. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, I can go back here. Yeah, so the... And for those of you veterans of the game out there, or maybe not too much, but um, if I can get the Titan mitts or the... You know, or the gold mitts. Um, um, I basically can travel anywhere. Because then that means I can go into the lighter dark world, because I have the mirror and the, and the pearl. And then I can lift up to get into any of the um, areas where you transform. Go 
around to get this piece of heart because I think it gives me a full heart. And I can get healed. Gonna be saving and quitting a lot, folks. I apologize for that. Well, it's just the name of the game, right? Yeah, because. <laughs> Need to. I probably should have went to Sanctuary, but I can get there from here. No, I have to go up and around. No, I should be able to get to the village through here. <laughs> I have to show them, right? Yes. I can go to where you normally dig up the ocarina. <laughs> and I just reflexively tried to hit him with the sword. And I miss it. Ah, 20 rubies. Awesome. store, buy some bombs, save and quit. Out in chat, has any questions? Feel free to put them in chat, and Tom will relay them to me. Yep. About anything. Um. And no, I can't. Okay. I was just going to see if I could get to. to us, Soros. But no, I need the, uh... Is this the thing I can't do yet? Yeah. Or at least that's open now. Now, when speedrunners do this, will they just use the the same randomized ROM every time, or will they do they pick a new one every time? Um, no, it's a, it's a new one every time. I didn't know if like they they made one and then they ran the ROM and then they allowed other people to run the same ROM to see if they could beat it. You, I think you... I think you can get the same ROM. You know, um, there's like that code that's at the beginning. Right. Um, I think there's a way to be able to put in that code to get the same ROM. I might be completely wrong. I am new to it and haven't delved too much into the Discord on it. But, um... Yeah, it's uh, a lot of times they do races. Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, where two people get the same ROM. And... 
see who finishes it first. The other cool thing is the, um, um, they, we were talking about Super Metroid earlier. They do the, uh, hey. Thanks, Steph. Yes, thanks. Another follow. Uh, they do one where it's a combo randomizer. Okay. You you go into some doors in Link to the Past, and it takes you to Super Metroid. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, how do you... <laughs> Couldn't thread the needle. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Looking like an expert at there, Mark. Yeah. That's the one thing these randomizers have done. They've made me real good at... Um, not an expert by any means. But i become real good at the... Uh, threading the needle through enemies. Because it's sometimes you're not... Powerful enough to take down enemies. Yes, yeah, so you gotta learn where your hitbox is. Yeah, so it's uh, as much as I think this is just money over here. I need to go see Zora at some point, so I need as much money as possible. Because there's a chance Zora might have, like I might go there and they might have the boots where you would normally go to get the flippers. Right. Yeah, even that stuff's randomized. Yeah, that would be annoying to me. <laughs> Especially if you def if you're if they're items that you definitely need. Yeah. To get the game. To yeah, they never they never do it to where you know you won't get you'll be missing an item that's like breaks the run. Well, that's good. Alright, so I'm going to have to kill one of these guys with a bomb. Hey! And I got a useless fairy. Compass. I need the big key, guys! Yeah, that's the, well, that's the other problem. If you're going through a castle and they don't give you the key, that's annoying as all hell. Yeah. Yeah, all it means is that I gotta go through the whole thing. Look, if that, if that is the big key chest... Oh, I don't have the lantern. It's gonna suck. Now, can the big key be in the big key chest? No. Okay. Just making sure. I'm gonna die. I was hoping there was a way to light up the room. Oh, before I die. Don't have enough. <laughs> a strategy I know nothing about in terms of playing swordless because I've never done it before. Yeah, probably. This is a strat for everything in these games. Nice. 
that was actually the best case scenario there. Ah. I'll take that damage. Because now, I can go down there and see what's in that chest. And then if it's nothing useful, I can get out of here. Because I need the arrows to get to the boss. Let's see what's in the big chest, Tom. Let's do it. Oh, and one thing I didn't point out was these things here that usually the guy would give you advice and stuff is like hints at where things are. Yeah, I'm sure but, they mean nothing. You no, know, it actually helps you, but we already have this. So it is basically useless to us. Oh, you have to flip. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of useless. At least at this point. It'll be useful once we get um once we get to the dark world to see because there's two dungeons um that need to um You need to uh, have those special powers thing to open. So I don't even know if this is a way to go. I'm just going this way. Nope, can't go in there yet. But for Misery Mire, which is the swamp place, I just put myself into a corner so this is save and quit time. Um, Misery Mire and Turtle Rock. You need to use one of those three medallions to get in. Yeah, let's go here. Um, so, that's why it's always, you do map check and you always hope that Misery Mire or... Uh, what's it called? Um, Turtle Rock are not necessary to complete the game. Gotcha. So you don't have to worry about going and getting the medallions. Yeah. The other cool thing would be getting the book. Uh, so that I can read the pedestal and see if something important is on the pedestal where you get the master sword. Alright, let's see what's in. Uh, in the normal game, this is where you would get the ice rod. Yep. Sword. Please be a sword. Nope, ten arrows. Awesome. Okay, there's only like two more places that I feel comfortable going, and then uh, we might sit here and talk while I download another seat. Okay. Because um, there's there's only four more places that I can go that I can think of, or five. There's two inside um the the forest. There's that one where we didn't have the bomb before down in the desert and then there's two in the mountain but the two in the mountain you have to go traverse the mountain um, without a lamp Ooh, that so it's just remember that pitch black screen I had yeah yeah that's what that entire thing would be trying to sounds get like through. Go sounds like going through Mount Moon without flash Jen, yes you understand <laughs> that right yeah it's if I get the lantern, then we should be in business. 
Because then, then that opens that all up to me, and... Alright, let's go up here where the mushroom usually is. Oh no, I went the wrong way. No, that's where the sword is. Oh, Mark, remember where the mushroom is. Where's the mushroom? Well, there's, well, there's a, a sword, sword there. Can you get to that? that? No, that's a fake sword. Oh, son of a bitch. That's a piece of heart. Awesome. And then I think... Down and around here... Is... Oh, nope, I don't want to go in there. This is the thieves' hideout. Right. Piece of heart. Okay. Well, last thing before Mark gets completely frustrated with this <laughs> <laughs> is let's go check the desert. So one more save and quit. So I can go back to the to my house. So, uh, not as fun when you have both the haven't played the randomizer in a while mixed with not having a sword. Well, yeah, I can imagine that makes life difficult. Yeah, because at least if I was playing this a lot, like, I could be really snappy and know where to go. The only thing that'll keep us going is if this is a bottle, bottle, lamp, or sword. Because bottle opens up the, um, going to the kid that usually gives you the bug net. He might have something. Keep the hope alive. Ah, nope. 20 coins. Uh, I'm going to actually look up the cheat for this if we decide to scrap this seed. Okay. And maybe just end the stream for the night. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you do you, Mark. Let's see, I have a bomb. A few bombs. those three chests under the castle. I just need to be really good with my bombs. something useful there. Yeah, that's really my only hope now. I mean, I could theoretically get through that. Hmm. A lot of things are popping in my head. Like... be so difficult to do the, uh... What's it called? The, um... Says Mark, what's the best randomizer experience you've had in the past? Um, I beat it. I beat one in um, 
like under three hours. Damn it, I needed two bombs. Um, does that not work? Okay, let me go get some more bombs. That one was fun. I was getting everything left and right. Just, um, yeah. And, yeah, the, the first one's always probably always going to be one of your most fun, like, going through and go, whoa, shit. You know. And all that. But that one where I was, where I beat it in under four hours was pretty good. I'd say so, considering I think I've been playing the game for at least four hours and I'm close. Yeah. yeah, the reason why the hours can get cut down is because, unless if you 100% it, um, you don't have to get all the pendants, so you don't have to go through all the dungeons. Mm -hmm. So let's go buy some bombs. Let's do the other two things while I'm here. Um, so, depending on which dungeons you don't need to do, uh, will limit, you know, how much time it takes. Right. So be, I, I would imagine you don't need to do every dungeon. Too. No, there's only you, only... you only required to do seven of them. You know, you just gotta get the seven crystals. And you and you get the green one, um, to, what's it called, um, to uh, go to where you normally get the boots from, inside that little block where Eastern is. Mm-hmm. And he gives you an item there, obviously, that's not the boots. So. Take this damage. There we go. Let's go down and see Uncle. Open that other chest down there. And one great thing about randomizers is at some point, you're, you're like in a dire situation like I am right now. And, um... Just one chest. I will die if this is the sword. No good, thank god. Because I bypassed that chest the first time, because it's usually never anything. Just some rupees. God, this is gonna take so long. Alright, we're going one of them. Got the other, nice. Now that I have bombs, I should be able to... The only chest I can't get to yet, or it would be difficult for me to get to, <laughs> is the, um... Oh, shit, that's right. Alright, scratch that. All right, we're gonna go try and kill that guy with bombs again. Good luck. Welcome. <laughs> Jen says, "No, that's what you call bushwhacked."
let's do this. <laughs> Restart. Yeah. Not so funny anymore. Yeah, so. I thought it, it, there's a, there's a slight glitch. Um, if I did the right randomizer. When you go to rescue Zelda in the very beginning, and you go through and you do all that, um, you can... Hmm, I don't want to try this. Yet. It gives you, like, even if you don't get the lamp, it gives you the lamp light in that first thing. Gotcha. So you, because it's one of those things where they do that because you have to finish that part of the game. I don't know, can I swim up there? I don't know if I can get there yet. Nope. to the mountain in my one final desperate attempt. He's not automatically here, is he? Oh, yeah, he is. That's weird. Now I can check out some chests up in Death Mountain here. If I can't get far here, we'll just... I can probably go for another 12 minutes and get to 10. Mark, no, no pressure. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. That is my only weapon. <laughs> oh, well, that's I can at least collect this. See if there's any cheats with e any of these spots. Thank you. Awesome. Uh... Oh, 
not here. All right, we go find some bombs. I want to check that chest. <laughs> something. Now, Mark, on average, how long do you think it takes you to beat this game? Not on a randomizer. Um, oh, when I, when I can do it regular, um, I've gotten it to about seven hours. Pretty good. Is that beating everything, or is that just getting through the game. Just getting through the game. Not 100%. It says I should be able to go to this fair. I need the Titan Mitts to lift that rock. Gotcha. I think these warps might actually help me. Because... Um, since we were having so much trouble, I pulled up the, uh... You know, they have the, the checklist thing that we're going through. And to the yep. right of that, it has a thing to, like, checklist where you've been. And it tells you where you can go. And it says I can get the Zora. I'm just trying to figure out how. It has to be this. Yep, there we go. That's like the hookshot thing. Yep. When I didn't remember for the longest time you could hookshot. <laughs> across the river. on Zora's thing, because we don't have enough coins to... Yeah, it doesn't need to require, like... 500. 500, 500, something crazy. Oh, just it's hard. Where to get coins? Where to get coins without killing enemies? <laughs> Let me just dig around here. Maybe at 147. It's funny to me that even a Japanese ROM is in English. Yeah. Or I don't know if they hacked that part to make it English. Yeah, it's all patched. Because they, uh... yeah, if anybody in chat knows an easy way to get rupees, please don't go off screen. Go off screen. Okay. 
Yeah, I was just saying, I, I can't think of any other ways besides just lifting stuff and yeah. try to kill enemies, but not easy. Especially without a sword. Did I go? Alright, I need to check one thing. I don't know if I went to the back of this. No, he did not. I think there might be coins back here. Bookshot! Nice! Game on. <laughs> okay. That opens up so much. Um... Uh, what would be the easiest thing to get to? Well, I'll go to the only other place I know that has a gigantic number of chests, which is Hookshot Cave. Do it. And I know I've said this a bunch tonight. But if there's not a sword in there. <laughs> that may spell the end if there's no sword. Yeah. Because... Or if there's a way for me to get... 122 rupees. <laughs> yes, Jen. Gigantic chests are the best. Gigantic trunks are nice, too. <laughs> yeah, that, that's always the one thing from Dark Souls, when you meet that one um, prince, that one giant princess, and everybody puts amazing chest ahead. No, believe it or not, that's Jen's favorite phrase. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was her gamer tag a long time ago. <coughs> Can I get over here yet? No, I can't. Why is it so good to get there? Oh. Your boy's an idiot. That's one of the other hard things in here, is that you're always at low health in the beginning. You know, and having to go to all these areas that expect you to have more hearts. Well, yeah, especially, like, if you're going towards endgame stuff, and you have four hearts, it's going to make it real difficult. Yeah, because these rocks take one, hit, one heart per hit. I need the sword. I'm an idiot. I'm like, why can't I do the magic? <laughs> you need you need some way to use the magic. Yeah. Uh, now, none of the obviously the canes don't allow you to use magic either. And the cane will just make me invulnerable. Got 
got no fairies? I don't have any nets to catch them. So. It's just a waste. Okay. There we go. Don't have to worry about that block anymore. Let's go in here. All right, two chests, Tom. Do it. Mushroom, that opened something up. Boots, that opened something else up. We're still on. <laughs> All right, I'm sure I can use these things. That opened something else up. Hopefully there's a sword in here somewhere. That's what I'm hoping. There's a sword. Boom. Boom. We We're back it. in it. We did I, it, fam. I can at least beat one dungeon. Well, I can't be one dungeon. All right. Let's go in here and update what I have. Sword. Uh, boots. Where are boots? I got something else here, didn't I? Mushroom. Mushroom. There we go. Mm. Alright, let's save the quit. And go get the hammer. Can do this. So now, can can you technically save Zelda now? Since you have a sword? Well, she's already saved, but I can go oh, down and get those three chests that are down there. Those four chests that are in that castle. But let me go get the hammer first, because that opens up two more sections. I think this is this sea house. This is most important, then I will fly over to the mushroom lady, give her the thing, hope she gives me, like, uh, the gloves. The power gloves. And if I get the power glove and then the titan's mitts, one or the other, I'm good. I love that they put the power glove. Really See, cool. this is what happens in randomizers for everybody out there. We were down in the dumps, ready to shut it off. And then you get boom, 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 three items in a row. It's like gambling. You're back in business. You hit the yo a few times. You're good. Yeah, mitts would be clutch here. What's up, Reaper? What's up, Reaper? Yeah. We're just... Finally, getting making some headway in, in this random. Yeah, we might actually get to beat a dungeon. <laughs> now, Mark, I would suggest keeping this saved yeah. and run this uh, next Sunday. Yeah. Or I'm Thursday. I want to. I want to beat at least one of the. <laughs> Almost there with coins. Say that I have the hammer. And that opens up. Oh. Save. Yeah, I can use it. Just save it quick. Um. So, Mark, you want to explain to uh, Reaper what we're doing here? Yeah, so we're playing a Link to the Past randomizer. I don't know how familiar you are with those. Uh, but for some reason, I clicked one that is started me out swordless for the first 40 minutes of this game. Um, it, was so, more, it was more than that. Yeah. 
So it was like an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. It was a lot. <laughs> but now I have the boots, I have a sword. I am in business, as they say. To go check out a few more chests. Ah, that's fine. That'll, that'll help. No, that's big. Um, can I, I should be able to do that. Because I have the hook shot, I should be able to do that one cave that I couldn't do before. Yeah, because you can kill all those enemies. Yeah. I like that it makes you invulnerable when you land. Nice. Yeah, it would be kind of cheap. Alright. Well, to make this simple, I can just do this, too. Save some time. <laughs> Alright, five things here. That helps. Adds nothing. That helps a ton. Alright. What was the second to last thing? What, the gloves? Oh, is that what it was? was yeah, the gloves? power glove. Which actually makes my job slightly easier. Um, in terms of the things under the castle. I can get to the spot where they're... Um, where the three chests are. A lot easier. Well, at least we're opening stuff up. That's good. I'll save it quick. <laughs> yeah, so... You know, essentially, we're just randomizing chest here, and it's it's fun. It's like one of those things where it's like it's fun. I promise, it's fun. So now, when you're going through a regular playthrough, this is how you would get to um, this part um, of the castle. Is you lift these up, push this, and it drops you back in below the castle to here. But if you're doing the regular randomizer in the regular way, that you're supposed to do it. You can come here with bombs and just get this out of the way in the very beginning. And I got a shield. I got a key. That means I can work backwards. That's good. Shield is very nice, too. Yeah, it'll help with the... Um, what's it called? Should I go backwards? Probably more worth it just to go to the castle. Okay, what exactly is Reaper's question there? It says, so back in Ocarina of Time, what did Link consider the Master Sword to be? A Link uh, is the best. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I am always good with puns. Because I saw it out of the corner of my eye. And I was like, what did he say? Alright, let's go and get... I don't think there's going to be anything down there, but... I need to get the lamp, desperately. I need either the lamp or the book. Mark 
airport. Now that you're all in this, uh, how much longer are you going? I just want to... If, if this... If this isn't the book... The, or the bow... We're done. Okay. Or it's, if it's a hundred rupees... Then we're not done. Because then I'll, I'm going to go check Zora and then we'll be done. Okay. Because if this isn't any of those things... Then I just gotta go around collecting coins until I get the Zora. And now that you have a sword, it makes that way easier. Yes. Yeah. And that's, that's literally one of two people. Oh, excuse me. That's literally one of two people that I have to kill in this entire run down here. Um, this guy's the other one. Even though I can theoretically bypass him because I have a key, but there's a chest in here. I want that chest. That's funny. That's normally where the boomerang is. Hey, you're bound to get one. <laughs> I think that's one of the first times that I've done this. That the um, the chest held what it originally held. Yeah, I mean that's it's bound to happen eventually, right? I mean, yeah, you, the numbers will bear it out. All right, so we're looking. If I get the bow, that would be amazing. Because then I can beat Eastern and we can be done. Big key. Nope, oh, just a map. Um, Alright, let's uh, save and quit back to the house and then we'll end the stream. Alright. Yeah, so... Make sure it's saved. Yes, make sure, okay. please. All right, thank you for joining me. Sorry for the technical difficulties a little bit earlier. Um, still working on the computer thing here. Uh, so I think we figured it out for the stream. Um, yeah, the uh, this will be probably what I'll do on Thursday. You know. Um, Maybe I'll do a rotation of Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, like, two times a week. And we'll see if we can finish this randomizer. And maybe I'll look up the Super Mario 64 one um, for next Sunday. And just see how that plays out before our uh, next Retro Roulette post on Monday. Uh, so, um, yeah, you want to do, do, do what you usually do, Tom? The plugs here? Uh, give us all our plugs. All right, guys, follow us on Twitter at Game Vault Pod, Instagram at Game Vault Podcast. You can find our podcast on Podbean, uh, iTunes, Google Play, wherever you get your podcasts from. Uh, it's every other Monday. This so this so tomorrow will be an off week, and we'll have an episode next week, the following week after that. Uh, we stream multiple times a week um, our our schedule is in a pinned tweet on our Twitter and it's also in the description here on our channel um, the next stream I believe will be Wednesday Jenny will be playing Final Fantasy 7 as she makes her way through her first playthrough of Final Fantasy 7 um, feel free to uh, come back hang out uh this will be posted on YouTube at some point. Uh, but we feel free to interact. Uh, come hang out with us. We, uh, we always enjoy the, the feedback and uh, people add to the conversation. Yeah, the good thing about this, Tom, is that it deleted my save, too, when it crashed. So you can just post the one that wasn't the crash. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so, yeah. Um... Um, looking forward to uh, you know getting on a consistent thing here now that I think the thing we fixed in OBS 
um, should at least help me do the retro game. So um, I'll be looking forward to playing through this and maybe um, we'll find a couple other things to do. Maybe I'll do one on Thursday, one on Sunday. So um, we'll take it from there. So thanks again, guys. Be on the lookout uh, for all we do. Keep an eye on the Twitter. If you got any questions, send it along to um, everything you see below there, as Tom said. Thanks, and uh, have a good night.